So let me give you guys a little close up right here. What's up guys, this is Etechspot, and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to get a custom home screen on iOS 14. This is not it, but basically you can get custom widgets and custom icons on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This has basically started trending as a way to make your iPhone on iOS 14 more aesthetic and just look a lot nicer. Customize it exactly the way you want it to be. Finally, I mean, it's not like Android has had this for the longest time. Am I right? But anyways, enough jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the easy part. And it's really, really cool. The widgets. Go to the App Store. And in the App Store, there are two links that will be down below in the description. Both of these are for widgets. The first one is called Widgetsmith. And the second one is called Color Widgets. Now, I downloaded both, as you guys can see right there. And if I exit out of here, it's now in my app library or... It's also right there because I put it there, but it's all my app library. You can see them too. But yeah, no more boring stock iOS 14 widgets. So the first one we're going to be opening up is called Color Widgets. So here it is. Now, I already made a widget right here. I can see I change the colors and everything, which is super, super cool. But I'm going to leave mine at blue. I'll show you guys some more here in a second. But all you got to do is set widgets. And just like that, we are good to go. Check this out. We got so many really cool widgets with different backgrounds. And you can change it and personalize it to your style. So there are so many that you guys can choose from right here in color widgets. So that is absolutely awesome. Let's say I want this one right here too. Don't judge me. But anyways, I can go ahead and tap on edit widget right here. And I can again customize it. You can even change the font and everything, which is super, super cool. But I'm going to hit set widget and we are good to go from there. Now, I'm also going to go over here to this widget app and there are so much more. If I head back over here and tap on the first tab, you guys can also see I can set one of these as well. It looks really, really nice. I want this one right here, the small one. So I'm going to hit add small widgets and just like that, we're good to go. Now, to actually add them to your home screen, what you got to do is enter the wiggle mode. So edit home screen right there. Tap on the plus icon on the top left. And now those widgets will show up right there. So you guys can see one of the widgets right there. So you guys can choose the different sizes that they offer, which is really, really cool. And this one also shows the battery percentage on the top left, which I thought was a great thing. So I don't have to swipe down right here to see it every time. So that is a great feature. But yeah, scrolling down, you guys can see that there is Widget Smith. So I can tap right there and you can choose whichever one you want again. So I want the small one, add widget and boom, there it is. Let's go ahead and add another one too. So where's that other cool one that I had? So I think I have to re-add it because I did add this one right there. So let's go back over to the color widgets. So done and i'm gonna go back to this widget right here and let's go edit widgets and set the widgets so there we go actually no no i want that bluer color so there we go set widgets cool now again edit home screen go back in okay so there it is now if it doesn't show up you can also try going down over here to color widgets so there it is going to tap on it and again you will see that widget right there too so i personally like this one right here so i'm gonna go get that and I'm going to go back to my main home screen. I'm going to delete the stock widget that I don't really like that much. And I'm going to bring this one over. So here we go. Boom. Just like that. And we're already getting really close. Let's go ahead and bring this one over as well. So kind of make it look something like this. Or I can even put it right there. And yeah. So now the widgets are basically done. You can add more or less widgets if you want to. But I'm just basically showing you guys the concept of this. Anyways, now we need to change the icons on our home screen, which is the most tedious part. It's not hard. It's just very tedious, which means you have to do it multiple times for every single icon. But if you want a completely new look on your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, this is really awesome. So if you want to make your own custom icons and import them to your Photos app, then you can do that to create your own custom icons like that. But if you just want pre-made icons, then you can go over to the link that will be down below in the description. And by the way, I'll also have a second link for iOS 6 icons if you guys want to get an old kind of retro look, which is really, really cool. So if you scroll down right here, these are the icon sets that are available. And you can really use any icon or photo that you want for this, which is awesome. There's Mario ones, there's these kind of cool ones, and you can just download whatever icons you want from wherever you want. They even have this folders one, food. Let's say I want um, these social media icons. I can just go and tap right here, scroll down, and there they are. Now to save them, let's say I like this Facebook one. Or actually, that one's cool. Let's go use this one. So let's tap right there. You guys scroll down. And by the way, you do have to make a free account to be able to download these. But again, it's completely free to do. So anyways, tap on download right there. And again, you can choose any one of these. It doesn't really matter. I like to do right here just to get a little bit of a higher resolution. And yeah, so let's tap on download and download again. And there you go. It is now downloaded up at the top over here. So there's an icon. You can see I also test this out with different icons as well. Now I'm just going to download a few more. Tap on the downloads. Go to your download and just like that, tap on the share button. 
and save the image to your photos app and again do the same thing for every other icon as well so save image just like that we are good to go first thing you'll need is a shortcuts application if you don't already have the shortcuts application download it from the app store it's completely free so i'm gonna go and open up shortcuts and don't worry about all this right here all you gotta do is tap on the plus icon in the top right add action tap on scripting open app and over here next to open it says choose so tap on choose and choose the app that you want to kind of mask so let's do instagram to create a new app icon for so there's instagram let's go and tap on it and boom just like that all we gotta do now is tap on the three dots and now all we gotta do is tap on add to home screen now over here you can name it whatever you want so i'm just gonna name it again instagram you can even put an emoji if there if you want to but i'm just gonna leave it at that and let's tap on the app icon right there choose photo and again, you can choose from all your various different app icons that you downloaded. So I did Instagram, so let's tap on this icon and hit choose. And now let's hit add. So there we go, add it to home screen, X out of here. And there is the app icon as I can see. So if I tap on it, it actually opens up Instagram as I can see right there. So that is really cool. Boom, boom. So yeah. Now what you could do is go over to your main home screen where we have the actual app. And for this example, we did Instagram. So all you guys want to do is tap and hold, bring up this menu and tap on remove app. And you do not want to tap on delete app. Otherwise, I'll get rid of the app completely and you won't be able to open it. So anyways, tap on move to app library. Just so that it doesn't show up on our home screen. And from here, we could go ahead and take this app, the new modified one. And I can go ahead and move it to my home screen right there. And it'll work just like the regular Instagram app. So if we're going to click on it so you can see. Again, it brings me right there. So that is how that works. Okay. All right. So are you guys ready for my very aesthetic iPhone on iOS 14? Well, here it is. Boom. There you go, guys. So this is what I came up with. So let me give you guys a little close up right here. So up at the top, I do have that widget right there from color widgets. So again, it shows the battery percentage right there, which is really cool. I don't have to swipe right there to see my battery percentage anymore. You can see that they are matching 54% and 54%. So it updates based on that. And also I have this photo and for that you will need this app called photo widget So it's this one right here. It's available for free in the app store You can basically select which images you want to show up as opposed to it being kind of random So it's gonna stay on this image, which is really really cool And then I have some custom icons you guys can see I just downloaded these straight from Google So I just went on Google and I typed in on the images for example Instagram icon and download the one I liked and I added it so you guys can see I have the YouTube so you guys remember this old kind of icon there's twitter uh it looks like i don't know what the bird's doing right there but there's the icon i found on google images so you can really use any image that you want it doesn't necessarily have to fit the size perfectly but if it does then it will not be stretched like this so yeah i can see this image was not perfectly sized so uh it's supposed to be earth but it's kind of like a football because it wasn't the correct size but anyways just got some stock apps right here games i thought those were fine the way they looked and then I have the Apple Music widget right there because I thought it looked cool. I don't know, I just need to kind of offset it right there, having apps right there and right there. And at the very bottom, I do have the phone applications. There's also the Safari icon, the messages icon, and uh, my music app, which is right there as well. So you can go and select any app that you want it to open, Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music. And so yeah, so you can have any custom icons that you want that you find online. So that is just really, really cool. So overall, this is what my setup looks like. Of course, not the best. I spent like, I think like 30, 40 minutes on this and I couldn't make it better. And if I swipe over, I can see I've got a giant photo and you can also still add your widgets on the left over here. So if you kind of want them out of the way or just need more widgets, you have some more space on the left over here. But all in all, I think this is pretty aesthetic, okay? I mean, it could be better. I could have spent more time, but for the time being, I thought this was really cool. So enjoy customizing your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Definitely be sure to share this video. It would help me out a ton. Hit that like button to help out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for tons more videos. This is TechSpot and peace out.